so it is the morning of day number three I think and it has rained for two straight days I'm not a fan of the rain per se because it limits me to what I can do um, but we've had a great time and met some interesting people and have a lot of stuff coming up I believe that if today is Thursday, tomorrow's my birthday. I can't remember, but I do have a birthday coming up very soon. So, we're going to do some cool stuff for that. And uh, I like Solano. It is very interesting. It is a, um, it's a very well, how do I say this, well-dressed small town. The likelihood of me moving here is um gone way up um since i got here so um good stuff and um i love the little intricacies of this town that you won't find in like uh, cebu for example and i've been staying with uh, one crazy american and one crazy uh filipina and they are they argue in English and Igalog, I think is the language. And it's hilarious. You guys have to see it sometimes. If I can catch them on camera, I will. Anyway, peace out for now. So after a failed attempted photo shoot, well it wasn't really failed. I uh, did get some pictures, but unfortunately it is raining again. It has rained here for three days and I'm starting to get depressed. Like rain is making me sad. But it'll be okay. We are in the, what would you call this, Gib? The the country of Solano? No, it's in. I mean like, like country living, like the. Yeah, provisional living. Provisional living of Solano. That's what we're in. And it is very unique. Um, I saw my first rice patties and uh, the canals that go uh, through them, around them, very interesting stuff. The mini coconut tree, uh, it's pretty awesome. So if you look behind me, you can see a rice field and down the muddy road there. There's even a little sorry sorry store around here. So this has been an interesting little trip and uh, I'm going to get back with you guys real soon. Hopefully it stops raining so I can take you out and show you some of this stuff. Anyway, for now, if you don't do anything else, do more life. So this is what I've learned in the last few minutes. Furniture is expensive. My hair is retarded. And there are a lot of traffic in this little bitty town. Or there is a lot of traffic in this little bitty town. I'm down at the other end of town right now, so it doesn't look too bad. There are trikes everywhere. I've, I've never uh, seen a Philippine city like this. Pretty cool, though. My hair, what is going on my hair? Something else I've learned very recently is that people are not used to seeing a white man holding a camera pointing at his face uh, in a town this small. So this is very interesting. Very well, at least not one as handsome as yours. <laughs> this guy. Look at these trikes. Okay, you have never seen anything like this before. I am at a festival in a cemetery, and it is called All Souls Day. This is unique. Let's look. If you can hear the music back here playing, they have bands, they have cotton candy set up, they have, do they have any rides? No? <laughs> They have pony rides, uh, and exactly. there are people that stay here for two days. two days. Yesterday was All Saints Day. They celebrate All Saints Day, then All Souls Day. 
and this is just a very unique tradition I feel like candles lit and I guess respects are paid but it's uh, very unique and I know my freaking hair what is up with my hair can you see all the caskets those are caskets those are people with tents set up on the caskets and those are weird Americans See what I mean by slightly awkward? The casket behind me is completely covered in moss. I would assume that means it's very old. I would go look at it and tell you the date, but you can't see it. Sorry. What's up with my hair? So, I have a little uh, backlighting issue here, but I think you guys can still see me. We're currently walking down the road to another cemetery because apparently today cemeteries are the thing. And uh, I have no idea where we're going, but it's supposed to be fun. It's not raining. It's not raining. That is a good thing. It has been raining for three freaking days. So we're very lucky. Also, what's wrong with my hair? Good morning my beautiful lovely youtubers it is day four in Solano the one and only Solano might I add if you're wondering why I have bags under my eyes it's because I had to do some very intriguing things last night during my sleep there was let's just not talk about it okay so anyway uh, we had breakfast and then we're headed to the caves and This is what white people have to do in the Philippines. See, I don't want you guys to be mistaken thinking that White men come over here and don't have to do shit that the women do everything. Look at this You see that? Yeah, I, I got sold a bill of goods, man I, I thought I was just gonna sit around eating grapes and getting fanned by palm leaves. What the hell? Fanned by palm leaves? Who knew? But instead, he's washing dishes. <sighs> so, happy birthday to me, and Today's that's it. Today's your birthday. Uh, 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 happy birthday to you. Uh, 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 uh. The dude should have been like Axl Rose or something. I don't know. I, I, I can't figure it out. We will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.
back out on the street here in Bayan Bong, I think is how you say it. And uh, I got the thumbs up from Gibb, so that's looking good. This place is pretty neat. This is the capital, correct me if I'm wrong, the capital of the of Nuvea Vizcaya, which is like a big county. Um, so you have what Solano, Santiago, what else is in there? Santa Fe. Santa Fe. Like that. Way up north. We're we're basically in Thailand. <laughs> Kidding, we're not basically in Thailand. But uh we're way up north. And the culture is very, very, very different here than it is in the central Sayas. I can personally attest to that. I've never had one of those caramelized bananas before, but I'm fixing to eat one right now. We're going to Kasibu to check the Kapisad cave. Cave? And what are, we, what are we going to do in the cave? We're going to check it out. <laughs> that was the best first time interview ever. We are going to check it out. That's what we're going to do. Did you like that, Gib? That was beautiful. I loved it. That's his girlfriend, though, so it doesn't really. I am back in the strike. This time, I'm about two towns away from where I was last time. And we're headed to some caves. And apparently, we're going off-roading. <laughs> because this is some bumpy crap. Uh-oh, we're at our destination. Today's cave adventure has been canceled due to time constraints, so we're now looking at doing something else. But no matter what, we're at McDonald's, and that's awesome. I love McDonald's. So I'll be bringing you some video from uh, somewhere other than the caves. 